What's going on pilots? Warren here with Banana Hobby. Today we have the new X-Fly model twin 40mm F-22 Raptor. Now this model has a wingspan of 27.6 inches. The fuselage length is at 37.6 inches. It is powered with a pair of 5000 kV motor and twin 20 amp ESCs. There are 5 9 gram servos installed on this jet, 2 in the elevator, 2 on the aileron and 1 for the nose steer. Now all you're going to need to get this model in the air is a 4 channel receiver, a 4S1300 to 2600mAh LiPo. So let's go ahead and unbox this jet and take a closer look. Alright guys, so now that we got the cover off of the box, let's take a closer look at the F-22 Raptor. Uh, beginning with the instruction manual, decal sheet, and all of the hardware that you're going to need to put this jet together. Kit also includes a carbon fiber wing spar. And here we have the wings for the F-22. So the servos are already all pre-installed on this jet and the control rods are installed. So this looks to be digital plastic gear servos on the wings. Pretty good paint job on this jet from the factory. Let's see, let's take some of these items, what's down here? I think these are the horizontal stabilizers, so they are full flying stabs. So that'd be pretty cool. What's on this patch? Alright, so we've got the nose cone, so it looks like a magnetic nose cone for this F-22. And then your bag of landing gears. And that's pretty much it in this box. Last thing uh, that's left to unbox is the actual jet itself. All right. Oh, look at that. It's got a it's got a pilot in there too. That looks pretty cool. All right. Let's get this foam block out of the way. Take a closer look at the F-22 guys. Take a look at that. That looks pretty sweet. Let's take a look at the battery compartment to see how much room you have in there. So they've got an XT60 connector installed on this jet and then all of your servo leads to the front where you have your throttle for the dual EDF. It's labeled rudder but there is no rudder installed in this jet so this is going to be for the no steering. And then you've got your aileron elevator. So not a whole lot of assembly to do on this jet. Um, give you guys a closer look of the belly side of the jet. So ESCs are mounted underneath and there are cooling vents that is installed to keep that ESC nice and cool. And then back here you have your elevator servos installed. And then it looks like your uh, EDF units are housed under disc hatch right here sweet let's go ahead and put this jet together all right so the first step on the assembly is to install the wings on this jet so we're going to take our carbon fiber wing spar and just slide it into place and then we're just going to take both of the wing halves and uh, install them into this jet We want to make sure we have the correct polarities when installing the servo leads and the uh, the servo leads actually have a clip on them so they lock into place once you have them positioned correctly. Hmm. Okay. Alright guys, so now that we got the wing halves uh, in place, we're just going to take our M3 by 10 millimeter bolts and using the supplied Allen key, we're going to bolt the wing down. Alright guys, so now that we've got the wing halves installed, the next step now is to install the horizontal um, stabilizer. So this is a full flying stab as mentioned. Uh, if you guys take a closer look, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, you do have a flat spot right there on the rotating shaft. So we just want to make sure that we take our M3 bolt when we screw it down that we actually have that sitting flush into the uh, flat spot that's created for you. So we're going to slide this in place. 
install our M3 by 12 volt and you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver to do this process tug and we are set all right guys so the next step is to just install the control rods to the horizontal stab now on the manual it calls for the second hole on the ser servo arm to be installed so we're just gonna pop this into place for now and if you don't have any ball link pliers regular pliers will be fine Again, the second hole on the servo arm. And we're just gonna pop this into place for now. So, oh, I had it right the first time. All right, so that's it for that installation. All right, so the next step now is to install the nose gear and the control arm for the nose steering. So we're just gonna take our Allen key here. Now there is two sets of grub screws in here just in case you lose one. So that's always a plus when they uh, include a spare part in there. So we'll take the aluminum control arm and then one of the grub screws. And then we'll just kind of set this in place really quick just so we don't lose it. All right. So there is a little tab. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. There is a little tab. There it is. All right, it's a little tab right there. So that tab faces down and it's gonna fall in between the grooves of that servo arm. So we're gonna install the nose gear first. Just kind of slide it in the fuselage. And then we're gonna set our control arm in place. All right, take our Allen key. We're just gonna tighten this down. All right guys, so the next step now is to install the main gears. So we're gonna install the main gears with little coils facing aft of the aircraft. So you just kind of slide them into that slot until it clicks. All right. And then the second landing gear. All right, sweet. So now we got the jet, uh, the landing gears on the jet pretty much installed. We can put it back right side up and take a closer look at it. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Awesome, so now all we need to do now is install the nose of this jet. And you can see that there is one way to install it and you can't mess it up. So it just pops into place just like that. And then there is your hatch. So take a look at that jet. Pretty sweet looking little F-22 by X-Fly model. I'll give you guys a closer look of the underbelly of this jet. And now all that's left is programming the F-22. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys uh, kind of a visual of how much room you have in the battery compartment. So in there right now, I currently have a 2200 milliamp 4S LiPo. So plenty of room for that battery to, uh, to be installed in the battery tray. And then obviously if you have a much shorter battery pack, such as this one that I have, this is a 4S 2200, I can almost play around with the battery position for CG on this jet. So let's go ahead and install a receiver on this, on this F-22 and get the rates and control surfaces all programmed. All right guys, so that was the complete unboxing and assembly of the new X-Fly model 240 millimeter F-22 Raptor. So as far as the control throws, 
40 ailerons on low rates it's at 10 millimeters and then for high rates is at 13 and then for your elevators we are currently set up for 10 millimeters of up deflection from the trailing edge and then on high rates with 20. So the manual doesn't cover uh, no steering um, dual rates. So right now I just have it set to 35% on low rates during takeoff and then 50 on mid rates and then 100 for the low speed taxi back to the um, pavilion. So CG is set at 80 millimeters from the leading edge from the wing route uh, back. Um, and then right now where our battery placement for the jet is currently about midway point with that 2200 milliamp 4S LiPo. So this jet is pretty much ready for its maiden flight. I will see you guys on the runway.